she is ready. Wow, that's nice. It's the food of the cows. Do you want to eat some? Eat, eat. Mm, seems like she don't want to. Now the leg of the charpai. That's our village. Let's start it. First, we will take a cylinder of orange color, making it just like the back of the body of the lady. And then we'll be taking more orange to make the legs. One leg, two legs. That's it. Now we're taking blue and cutting it all with a scale. Now the triangular shape of the blouse. Attaching it to the woman, just like that. It looks nice. Now, arrange it, just like that. Taking more skin color to make the neck of the lady, and then on the top of it is the head. Cutting off the red part to make the sari of the lady, and this is on her one leg. Cutting off the extra part with the tool. Arrange it. Now trade the other leg with more of the red and cutting the extra part with the tool and arranging it. Now hiding the leg of the lady and making the drapes of her sari with more red. Adding some more of it just like that. Now it's the dupatta of the sari and now arranging it, making the design with the tool. Here comes the hairs of the lady with the black color. Now making the strands of her hair, cutting off green to make the blouse and attaching her hands. Now making the braid of the lady, that's look pretty good. Here it is, now attaching it to her hair to look it like her braid. There is her necklace from golden yellow color. There has bangles and her eyes, mm, just like that. Now it's her lips. Now making the dupatta of the lady. Yeah! Amazing, that's look good. Now making the potter wheel with the purple color. Taking some purple make from a cylinder and making it around around the star. Cutting off the extra part and arranging it. That's it. That's like that. Taking some brown color to make a pot. Now making a hole into it with the tool. Mm, kinda seem messy, but that's how you're gonna do it. Now just arrange it with fingers and make the design on the pot. Yeah, our pot is ready. Here comes the other tools for the lady to make pots. That's pretty nice with the wheel. Now comes the next part. We'll be making a char pie. And now taking the orange cylinders made by the tool. Arranging them into form of a square to make the charpai. You can also make the rectangle if you want to. Yay! My one is ready. Now I'll be adding the threads of the charpai with the light blue color. First it goes, then the yellow, then the pink, then another blue, then yellow, then tarry blue, then pink, then another yellow and then blue now onto the other side we'll be having blue light blue yellow blue pink blue and yellow now our charpai is ready and we'll be adding legs to it first leg on one side another side leg yeah that's it on the other side and our charpai is ready that's great now we'll be making the tree with the brown that's how you do it to make an irregular cylinder type of shape for the branch of the tree. Now adding more branches to it. One branch on this side. Another branch on another side. One more and that's ready. Now making the roots of the tree. 
adding to the trunk of the tree. Small roots on the all side too so it can stand. Just like that. Now we'll be making the leaves of the tree with the green color. Just pinching it off into the between your fingers just like that. That's a cute leaf. Now adding it one by one to the tree. Onto the one branch. Yeah, that looks nice. A lot of work, but you gotta be doing to make the leaves of the tree. Now adding a leaf one by one to the tree. One side is complete. Now onto the other branch and another and the tree is ready. Now we'll be taking dark green to make the base of the tree. That is a grass. Now taking a black color to make the wheel with the tool. Making a hole into it. Now adding a yellow to make the rope of the tire. Now attach it to the tree. Just like that. Now making the rose with the pink color. Just roll and roll and roll. It just turns out to be a rose. Now making other roses just like that I have made and attaching it to the cross of the tree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are the leaves of the roses. Now taking a white to make cow. This is the head of the cow. Now it's the neck of the cow attaching to the body of the cow. Now attaching the head of the cow. Just like that, mixing it with a finger so it just turns out to be one part. Now attaching the legs. One, two. Now onto the other side. Just like that. Now making the base of her legs with the black color. Yeah, just like that on the four sides. Now making the tail of the cow with the white and black. Adding it to the back of the cow. Now making her horns with a black color. Mm, just like that. And now this. Now making the eyes of the cow with a black color and making her mouth with the marker. Just like that we have made two cows. Now making the shed of the cow with the green color. Here are the cows comes. Now making the fencing of it so that our cows don't run at night. With the brown color, we'll be attaching it to the cross. Now with the yellow, we'll be just joining each fence. Oops, that fall. Here our cow comes. Here comes the another. Now making the buckets for the food of the cows. With the blue color, we were just making the base and the boundaries of the bucket. That's pretty nice. Now here comes the bucket for the milk. We'll be taking the green color and make the handle with the yellow color. Add some food to the cows so they can eat. That's cross with the green. And here's our village is ready. With the pot, the lady, the cows, the charbai, and the tree with the playing wheel. That's a pretty fan! Looks nice, isn't it? Do you like our video or do you want to watch more? Then subscribe to our channel. Thank you!